This is our second lesson in this um, series of parts of speech and today's topic is the alphabet. Okay, now the most important thing is to understand that people don't pay attention to the alphabet, especially if you are doing function skills, then uh, you, you need to know how to write um, the capital letters, how to write the small letters, even if you are in GCSE, that does count because in GCSE, the last question, which is the 40 marks question, 7 or 8 in an Excel or AQA, um, you will be penalized for grammatical accuracy. Um, see, there are 16 marks in the same way in an Excel, you will be penalized if you don't write um, the capital letters, if you don't write the alphabet properly. Uh, especially for function skills, it's very important. Sometimes it these, this is ignored because, well, people think that, oh, this is a bit too minor thing, so why should we know already? Yeah, but this is, I mean, you will see the problem now. Um, so we need to understand that there are different types of um, alphabet, kinds of alphabet. We can categorize them. There are 26 letters or symbols in the English alphabet. Now, they can be divided into two major categories on the basis of sound and structure. So, let me choose this. Yeah. So, 26 letters, they can be divided uh, based on sound, based on structure. So, you would say, uh, you would see that we have two different types of categories. I mean, um, so normally people say, okay, I know A to Z, it is 26 letters, but... Um, see um, things are deeper than that so let's look at this slide for example we have 26 letters and if you divide them based on sound we have vowels which are a e i o u and then we have consonants which are rest of the 21 letters in this 26 um, letters okay and based on the structure we would say that um, some of the letters, sorry, not some of the letters, all of them are written in two different ways, either in the capital shape or in the small letters or the lowercase. This is also known as the uppercase and this is also known as the lowercase. Now, this has nothing to do with sound. It has to do with the structure of, uh, of the way the alphabet is written. And based on the sound, we can divide them into th these two categories. So I'll talk more about this. So for example, based on the sound, we have these five vowel sounds, A, E, I, O, U. And we have uh, 21 consonants. Okay. Um, now, um, the, the words that begin with a vowel sound, for example, A, E, I, O, U, they, if they are singular, they take N. And if they are um, more than one, then obviously N does not go with them because N means one. And the rest of the words, they are basically, uh, they take A. So when we talk about the structure, which is more important, we have the uppercase or the capital letters. We write them like this. And we have the lowercase, <clears throat> excuse me, which is um, written like that. But this is where sometimes the confusion begins. But you must remember that most capital letters and small letters or the lowercase are not differentiated based on their size. They are differentiated based on their structure. Now, sometimes my students they write a small b, but they write it this big. Let me choose the pencil, for example. So they would write this big and they would say this is capital. Now capital does not mean bigger in size. Capital means the shape. Now you could see that this is the shape of a capital B. Now you could write this b small, this big, but still this is the capital letter. This is the small letter. It's not about their size okay now in some cases it is but mostly it is um, differentiated based on their structure so I'll speak to um, I'll speak about this thing in the next slide as well okay it's very very important to look at these letters for example so this is the whole of the English alphabet from A to Z 
and these are the small letters now you could see that most of them are different in their shape but if you compare these two letters C letters O S V W and Z they are exactly the same in both upper and lower cases so their uppercase or the lower case is determined with reference to the other letters now um, try to understand please this is very very crucial and I'm going to explain this thing on the next slide okay so for example most capital letters and small letters are not differentiated based on their size once again this is very important that's why I'm trying to repeat this thing they are differentiated based on their structure and shape however some letters are exactly the same in their structure or the shape in both cases the case will be determined by the surrounding letters here we go example for example my friend Chris loves camping okay now in this um, sentence you could see that we have Chris and we have camping now both of them are written in the same way now, this is the time when we have to look at their size but if you look at this letter Q and if you look at this letter don't worry about their size okay look at their shape this is quite different from this one in the same way this one is quite different from this one that's a capital A that's a small a but the problem comes when we have similar or the same um, shape how do we know that this C is a small C and this is a capital C in the above example C is the size this one the first one I would say this is the first one the first C is the size of M so this is how you write a capital M okay now if we draw a line from here you could see the same size same height which is the first letter of the sentence but C in camping this one the second one is small letter as it is um, the size of all the other letters for example a M etc in camping now if you look at this C it is the same size as a means the height is the same so this is the height of these letters a M I N G okay and P so this this is called the reference to its context or surrounding now if we see that um, small letters are written in a word and C is exactly the same size then this would be considered as a small C and if it is taller than a okay or any other letter for example N then this would be considered as a capital C now that is where most problems come when people write so for example my my students would write something like that a cat okay let's say or um, they would say let's say strong yeah so now when I ask them why this C is S is capital why this C is capital and they they tell me this is how I write my S my M this is a small letter not a capital letter well that is in your mind that is not on the paper examiner does not know what is in your mind examiner can only see things and and mark them so make sure if you know that this is a capital C you write it this size okay and if you know that this is a small s then s should be the height of R okay so here we go so for example if it is strong so I would write this okay so it's not very easy to write with the mouse so if this s is taller than r o n and this ring of g then it's a capital letter you can tell me that this is a small letter but if i have to mark you i have i will penalize i don't have any options so this is the problem okay so try to make sure that you understand what letters are exactly the same in shape okay so there are not many as i said there are not many c's o's and w's and v's so these are the ones just be careful about them the rest of them are capital now for example some people write m's like that okay now that is not a capital m a capital m would have straight legs okay or if you write w like that this is a small letter this is a small w okay sometimes you can write like that but yeah make sure 
you understand the difference between these. Now that will save you quite a lot of marks because if you write like that, if you don't care about the capital letters and the small letters, then obviously that is going to be penalized, especially if you are doing function skills level one, level two or any level. Yeah, in GCSE, you will be penalized in the last question where you have the technical accuracy. OK, so I hope you understand. If you still have any problems, you can let me know. You can leave the comments in the comment section of this video and do some practice at home. If you want to show me um, some of your work, that's fine. You can send it to me. OK, so all the best. Take care. Bye.